If you're one of my younger viewers, you might not remember this program, Cash for Clunkers. It was a program back in 2009, subsidized by the government. So if you had an older vehicle that got less than 20 miles per gallon, you could get $4,500 towards the trade-in for a new vehicle, but the new vehicle had to get at least 20 miles per gallon. I hated this program. Here's my comment from eight years ago. This program took so many retro cars off the road. So when you traded in your vehicle for $4,500, no matter what it was, the dealer didn't resell it. The dealer was ordered to destroy the vehicle. This Silverado looks like it's a 2000 to 2003 with that body style. And check it out, it was a manual. I didn't even think they made manual Silverados past 2000. So this guy had 300 plus thousand miles on this thing. He said it never left them stranded and he's getting rid of it. So like I said, this Silverado wasn't resold. It was destroyed. Any car traded in for that $4,500 credit towards a new car that got good fuel economy, 20 plus, they were destroyed. There it is, 316,000 miles. Who knows how many miles this thing could have kept going. He said it had no problems. The only thing wrong with it was a broken e-brake. That's it. After 300,000 miles, the guy's talking about how this has been a loyal friend to him. And he got destroyed for a new vehicle. What did he get? What did he trade in for his Silverado? The dealer did a little tribute for this truck, 316,000 miles. And like I said, that truck did not get resold. It got crushed. Didn't. They could have used so many good parts out of these old vehicles back when this program happened. I don't have any numbers how many vehicles were traded in for this program. But man, so many good parts. So many good vehicles. Everything that was traded in was running. That was the catch. The vehicle has to be running. So they weren't even parts vehicles. A lot of these vehicles were perfectly fine. This is what he traded his Silverado in for, a Chevrolet HHR. HHRs are okay. That They were made to uh, copy the PT Cruiser. There was a time where the PT Cruiser was the hottest car on the market. It's an okay vehicle, but I'd rather have that manual Silverado. I did a nationwide search on Silverados, year 2000 to 2003. That's what this guy had. They changed the front end in 04. But here you go. This is the highest mile Silverado I could find on Auto Trader. 427,000 miles. Here's the highest miles HHR I could find. 253,000 miles. That's not bad, but that's still under what his Silverado had. I wonder if this guy still has his HHR. Here's the highest price. HHR I could find on Auto Trader almost $17,000 2010 62,000 miles that's that's a lot of money for that thing pretty low miles though 62,000 Here's the most expensive Silverado I could find of the era that the guy traded in for cash for clunkers where's the price $25,000 that's a lot of money are these worth that much so I just wanted to do this for fun. Find the highest mileage Silverado and then find the most expensive one. See, this is a SS. I thought they changed the body uh, style, the front end in 04. I guess they changed it in 03. So that guy's uh, Catch for Clunk or Silverado was a uh, 2000 to 2002. That one's expensive also. But there you go. A 2000 Silverado is more valuable than a... 2010 HHR and then the highest mileage one I found was um, 400 plus thousand miles and then the HHR the highest mileage one I found was 250 that guy should have held on to a Silverado